soldiers, scientists, adventurers, oddities. 25 years later, the resistance has become a revolution. Not sure about how I felt about that one, but again, this thing's looking really good. We know what Mickey's capable of. I think KF KFC, look at him, he's loving it. This guy is like, I love how can he not love this team? Oh, Thailand, I hope you go all the way. You're amazing. And the whole hog from Roadhog, and they just melted through that overshield and managed to pick up the kills anyway. South Korea has swapped Eska over to the Reaper now, which I think is a good change. The Reaper generally doing a little bit better in this third part. And wow, Graviton surges, Uma goes in. Big aggressive move by South Korea. Will it pay off though? Looks like it is so far. Kills coming in, there's the Dragon Blade, the Nano Boost on Arhan, and they absolutely wreck USA. South Korea will push, man. Sound Barrier a little bit too early. There wasn't any major threat. They sort of instinct countered Sound Barrier for Sound Barrier, but Shadowbird's gonna go down, he gets picked off. Can they actually turn it around? Zimba gets back in. He's got the Nano Boost as well. South Korea, I can't believe they're even fighting this. Look how close it is. Nano Boost so under reds and that. Oh, he gets hit with the Earth Shadow though. Miro back in there again. And South Korea, they're actually gonna hold point A. Wow, the comeback, even on that long run back. Just a few seconds on the Shadowburn, and there it is. You saw that play mountain to happen. It's going to be Shadowburn, though, stuck inside the Graviton, dashes straight through. He's able to get two, trying to hunt down one more. Adam just trying to stay alive. Not going to be enough. Shadowburn dives through another one, has gods up top. Shadowburn just absolutely going crazy here, diving through USA, trying to secure the group for Russia. And that was beautiful from Shadowburn. What a way to end this round. Shadowburn coming in big for Russia, putting them on top, and it will be Russia taking that number one seed. Yeah, Russia with a dominant performance there, and that last point, specifically Shadowburn. He's down, but Peskinov has managed to find Mapu and Taimu strikes once again, and this is looking like Finland will take the first point. Let's see, coming out here, this part was slow enough of a roll for Neptuno to have the one ready to go, and now he's going to be walking through the Winter Wonderland. A couple of right clicks oh, there into a Kinsey, oh. but he's dodging the, the mechanics of this man. Now he's going to take a breather and get the hell. Neptuno's <laughs> like, I'm just going to try and sweep that one under the rug, but eventually Kimsey's gonna come for. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! No! Get the camera! We do see Zenyatta more, but I feel like at the Overwatch World Cup, we have not seen Zenyatta much. Uh, I definitely think they're gonna miss having a Lucio. They will absolutely be missing having a Lucio just because Lucio is so important. The speed boost is a big deal for both engaging and disengaging out of bad fights. And just the overall healing that you get from this great. And, and look at Mongu right there. He's having a blast. Yeah, doing a helicopter there, swinging his hammer pretty quick. Getting warmed up there for Team China. You pretty much have to lay down and accept your fate there. Skipjack goes in. He's got to be careful. He's being flanked around the side there. And you can see Siegel. He's got his Dragon Blade ready and waiting to go. He's going to drop down oh and quickly God. deflects it back in Eisfeld's face. Thank you very much. That's an easy kill. And now that's a problem for Germany because they lose one of their key damage dealers. And now the Dragon Blade is off. He goes in. He finds Ruster. Can he get himself a second? Finds RTA. Goes in looking for Internet Hulk. He takes him down. And Skipjack, the final man standing, takes a shuriken to the forehead. And down he goes. The United States will roll on to the second checkpoint. They all just got C-wrecked there. Five kills from Seagull. Still, Russia pushed through. Big old fight, and they come out well in top. That'll be enough to secure pretty much this map for them. From Russia with love, Shadowburn slices his way through Wait Finland. A minute. Just one little chance as Taimu drops on down, but he can't keep them at bay. The rest of Russia try and keep them pinned off the side. Shadowburn continues to strike as he gets oh. himself signing, but Taimu's just been left alone. He's picking them off left, right, and center, and they are forced away from the point just at the marker. One HP is what Taimu had remaining after that one as well. Those subsequent headshots cutting Russia off at the knees. Just trying to get one more hold here, and you see the Blizzard come in. Crew just trying to get it set up here to use this Deadeye. Let's see if he can connect. He's looking for the dead eye, does not get anything off it. His team is dying all around him, and this is do or die for France. Twice is ring, and then it's a home run! He is still in orbit! Six ulties to do it. Let's see what Thailand can do. They're gonna have themselves, what, five ulties coming back into this next fight, I feel, as they stack it out. They're already sneakily capping it around the back while this fight happens. Mickey comes in, gets it double triple, make it five! And Mickey goes huge! China get decimated, and Thailand will take the round! Both sides, and that opened up a lot of space for both teams. Teams. Well, when you see that, is that a is that a factor of respect? Is this where China started giving France maybe too much respect? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> on the stage? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I was going out Mickey, back there. It's okay, Mickey's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go Thailand. Graviton surge is pretty big. That's going to be time who actually launched out of the picture there. That's actually caused a problem because now he didn't get the DPS down. Shadow Burn's going wild. Meanwhile, in the backside, oh! gets a quick deflection into Taimu's face. Mafu just left alone. He's going to get desuited, taken down. The blizzard comes through. They will be picking up the round. And it's going to have around about 40 seconds left on the time back. Not a bad time indeed for Russia. 37 seconds, the final time. They said we know how to play against Shadowburn. We know what he does. But Shadowburn looked anything but leashed in that game. It was all about him when it came down to those Dragon Blade scenarios, and he used it well. Going to drop on Bashir. Just look. Point alive. Any boss that drops there. Boost Death Blossom combo, and he's able to get nothing for it. And he's gonna have to reload. Finally takes out Rubicon. And now it's going to be France using those ultimates, getting back towards the point. But they get nobody oh. on in the final seconds. Oh, that is a heartbreaker there for France. They push through, they get the kills, they forget there's an objective to do. It's Tavik, but just look at Coco keeping his teammates alive. They put ID to sleep. Oh. oh. It's not going to be fun. See you later, buddy. Uh, you get pinned against the wall. Speed boost, nano charges, and all the rest. And it just, it, it it's not, doesn't happen in a vacuum. Yeah, for me also, if you look at the Reinhardt matchup, really, Reds has done a fantastic job of going up against Piccolo. And as just as I say that, somewhat of a profit ZP, it's going to be Reds taking out Piccolo to start off this fight. And once they get the enemy Reinhardt out of position, you just see the side of France just fall apart. Oh, <laughs> that was a pretty effective deflect. That Shadow, was it. He's just crushing. Into the right hand side room, trying to use that to their advantage. Instead, they're just going to brute force the way through onto the left there, ledge. Bromas pushing around the side. Still no initial deaths here, so this is dangerous for Finland. Neptuno now as well. Seeing the wall placed up there, just going to work his way around it here and on towards that point. I'll have to throw one up in just a moment. Here the here point. They've got the first this is weird. He's able to wall up the front door now, and it's going to take Finland a long time to get to the point. They're going to be slowed second. up. They've given them a two thirds already. This is a disaster. That's horrific, Finland. You can see what they're doing, but the blizzard comes out already from Spain. Is Neptuno that gets it down? Spain are going to pick this map up. They've got themselves a quick triple kill. They clear out the contested people. Mafu is going to be the man that goes down. Hits him, picked off. That's it. They do a bastion as well, so. Yeah, might as well take a look at what they've got and then change things. IVD Cutie running away from Eska there on that main. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Aron actually. Doesn't matter. IVD Cutie takes him out. Oh, oh! He gets the headshot in the end as he dies. This seems to be the meta for that point. I thought on offense for USA, I thought Tailspin did a phenomenal job. So I think this is the dead eye. Oh, they're in the air. They fall out of the air like. Like an invisible pinata. Where's the MLG 360? That is such a <laughs> sick play. It's the Death Blossom and helicopter into this China team. Uh, China has no support ults up. They don't have the nano boost. They don't have a sound barrier. And here comes Ida Cutie off the top. He's able to get two, make it three. It's just going to be May stuck in her ice block. Not going to survive that very long. And it's the side of China. They use that blizzard in the fight as well. Things do not work out for them. This is one of the faster times we're going to see on King's Row. It's going to be Sweden completing the map with 4 minutes and 12 seconds left. Hard for any combos to come up. Eska backs away. He gets a little bit low. Meanwhile, there's a nano boost onto Arhan. Gonna look for the kill. Oh, the flashbang missed. Yeah, he threw it a bit too early. Arhan gets three, looking for another one. Gets four, gets five. Zumba looking for one himself. Eska picks it up to finish the team fight. And South Korea already near 50% here on what could be the last point in the Overwatch World Cup. Absolutely. 90%. And Arhan never misses an opportunity to show us that you are not prepared, Stray. Oh, yeah. And this is it. There's a Torbjorn at the point right now. Unfixed has officially <laughs> given up. All right, I guess that's it, man. It's a victory left for South Korea. Arhan pulls out the Dragon Blade. There goes Russia. Overtime activated. The closest they've gotten all series. But this is it. South Korea will win the Overwatch World Cup without dropping a single map. Wow, Noah. Wow. That is truly an amazing feat. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your champions of the Overwatch World Cup, South Korea!
darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs>